Yeah. Okay, cool. Which, yeah, yeah. So working, working life, waking up early and all. I can't things. believe how old we are now. I'm like, yo, mm. I feel so old. I'm like, what's, <laughs> what's going on? I am an adult now. I, I have to do my taxes. I have to do... It's, it's too much. It's I lot. cannot I believe like, it. I really feel like going back to varsity right now. I'm like, no, no, no. Please, <laughs> please, just take, take us things. back. <laughs> Yes, I, I completely agree with you. We've been rushing to get to this life. Now that we're here, we're like, okay, no, this is not what we signed up for. Please, can we just go back, go back. to that? Oh. Hello everybody, welcome to Rolling with Spudonator. My name is Musiso Mbonambi. Uh, as you guys know, this channel is about life after varsity, life post varsity, where we talk to different graduates who are now in the different industries and the different sectors. Uh, they're going to just be giving us their experiences and the overview of that specific career. And today, we are blessed, we are joined by the one and the only Dr. Masugu. <laughs> Uh, thank hey. you so much. <laughs> How are you, Doc? <laughs> I am. Hmm. <laughs> That's a free loaded question. I'm okay, and you? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay, and I'm. Okay. I'm so overwhelmed that you're here. You know, we can we can interview you and stuff. But thank you so much for being here. I am. Well, I'm actually very. Um, I'm honored. I'm super nervous. So I hope you're just like, just like actually a bit calm yeah. with me but okay yeah we'll be fine we'll be fine we'll be fine guys uh dr masuku like she used to stay she used to sit next to me in that class and you know and today <laughs> she's a doctor like it's so like wow guys you know time has passed, time has passed. <laughs> so okay so doc tell me like why did you choose medicine like why why medicine out of all professions um okay so firstly i come from a family with a lot of people in the health mm. um Thanks. sector i suppose mm. so i don't know i guess i was just uh basically drawn to that from seeing my my f father and and like my mom go to the hospital and be with patients and see p patients in that way and i well i have like no idea actually so it's just always been in there and i've i've been how can i put it i think i was basically called for the mm. job because i don't really have a reason as to like why mm. i'm yeah i'm attracted to it so you just yeah in it. yeah no, i understand <laughs> it, makes <sense. laughs> it makes sense so from high school already you knew that you know what i'm gonna be a doctor from grade one, actually. What? So, I, I, yeah, there's a picture I have of myself. Um, I uh, think it was a, a, a career, like a career expo, what everything that yeah. we had in uh, in grade one. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had like this fake like stethoscope on. It was red, <laughs> and um, I had this like uh, yeah, it was so, it was so cute. But yes, yeah, so I already knew from then. That, yeah, this is your thing. Ah, oh, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. So, so like, for, for someone who's, I don't know, who's still in high school, what would you say, uh -huh. like, uh, are the requirements that they need to focus on for them to apply to be, um, in, to, to apply in the medical sector? Yeah, sure. So, um, you, I know this will s sound heavy, mm. but you have to be an, an all-rounded, that means you have to do very very well in in your um, academics as mm -hmm. well as things outside of it. Academics. So yeah. I, I I remember I used to do like I used to um, uh, play hockey, tennis. I used to do like extra extra yeah, moral activities, yes. things. Yeah. Yeah, and then I also still had to study. So I I remember when I applied, there's this whole list of things that that 
that you have to fill in things that you were rewarded for um, outside of acad- academics. academics yeah. but obviously, that is also a big, big, big chunk. Yeah. So, so um, it was, I think it was 25% extra activities and then uh, 75% academics. So... Yeah. Those are very important, and the and in that seventy five percent, it includes the NBT. I think oh, I yeah. don't know if that's still a thing, but yeah. I remember. <laughs> I, I remember. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Sure. So okay. So you have to also be involved in other activities, sports, yeah. cultural, and all that, because it does count as a minimum requirement when you apply. Yeah, and I have to say, I was unaware of of mm. the fact that you also had to have all these other things i mm. like i honestly just participated because i thought that it was like fun yeah. it was a, like yeah a, a a a a great thing to get out of academics and, and stuff but then it is actually a thing like it's on paper so mm. yeah yeah okay <laughs> now that's very important for people to know that from now and then um, mm-hmm. getting into varsity then, like what, what were the challenges that you, you had while pursuing this career? And what would you say maybe are the key skills that one needs to have or it, one, you know, one needs to have to make sure that they, they, they persevere in this, in this career? I will answer the last question first. Mm-hmm. Discipline, discipline, discipline. You need to be able to handle uh, yourself and mm. you um, you have to know that if I have to do this and this time I'm gonna stick to it because there's no other time for it so um, I think that's the biggest thing that you have to have is self discipline mm. yes um, and then the ch- challenges I had in varsity I mean I feel like it's the s- 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 same as oh I stutter. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's, it, is, <laughs> it is basically the same as everyone else. So the the so basically, it's your attention being divided to like so many other things. Like there's friends, there's sports, there's this, there's that. But you also like have to do really well in school. So that for me, that was one of the challenges i found it a bit easier to um overcome because i am naturally a quiet reserved person and i love like 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 my own space i don't really Mm. like to go out and do this and and that so for me it was a bit easier but i mean there were times that i was like oh flip Mm. that would have been a great thing to attend but i have to study the other thing um is obviously my speech so you speak a lot Flip. there are so many um uh uh projects and presentations wow. and patients that you wow. have to speak with and i oh flip i struggled <laughs> so much with my uh, speech man, it was really yeah. bad um although i had a speech therapist and this and this and that i feel like i started that a bit too late so it's a bit harder for me to get used to it but yes so that was a big challenge it still is a big one but i feel like i'm a bit used to it now and 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 it doesn't bother me as much and i feel as though if it doesn't bother me then people don't really even care or Mm. even sometimes see it up until i'm like oh I struggled with my speech, you know. Mm, um, mm. So that for me was the other thing, and just and just the work, the workload <laughs> was too much. Yeah, I remember yeah. crying so oh, hard, like, "Mama, please, man. I can't do it. I just need to fly home for like oh, the weekend." And yeah. she's like, "There's no money for that, Theo. <laughs> just stay there, sleep. It will be okay." And I was like, "Okay, fine." So yes, those were the big uh, three Challenges. things for me. The first one was like not 
easy, but it 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 was easier to like get over. Um, second one is hard. I'm still facing it now. Third one was hard, but also I mean, if you just sit and study, then mm. then you'll be fine. So I feel like yeah. Oh. No, that's 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 really interesting, man. Thanks, thanks so much for sharing with, that with us, Doc. So, like, um, in, in 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 what's what's the so 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 medicine is six years, right? Like the whole course. yes. It is, um, well, it actually depends. I think uh, in in UFS and in I can't remember what's the one in the Eastern Cape, but in those two schools, I think it's like five years. But oh. generally, it is six yeah years. six years. Okay, mm. okay. So in that after six years, what happens? So you, you study for six years, and then after six yes. years, what happens? After six years, you finally um, earn the title. Okay. So that's a bit exciting. Okay, but it, you yeah. are still, but you are still in training. So that means that you you have to do an 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 internship which is two years okay. in like one one of the big um like hospitals in the country only because you're exposed to a bit more and and there's good supervision and so they basically try to put us in like the big um places so f- for me it would perhaps be any of the uh or any of the big uh like 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 hospitals That's in the nice. Western mm. Cape that um in 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 in, jo- in Johannesburg I think there's Barra there's Johann um Johannesburg General I think I don't know if it's called something else I think it's called Charlotte like Mandeke or like all these other ones o- over here there's uh Tigerberg uh and all yeah so but basically the big hospitals, the big hospitals. um yeah that is for two years and then after that there's one year of com serve or community oh. service that is in a smaller uh place so if okay. i actually want to i can apply to coltonville yes like like hospital. So, I, <laughs> so yes or or basically any any other um mm. smaller uh clinic or hospital mm-hmm. Um, that will also definitely help you. And then after that, you you are like like a complete complete Ooh, doctor. Yeah. So you can then open up your own practice, practice. or mm-hmm. you can um, study a bit further, which I would personally want to, to do. I I'm, okay. I'm more interested in like surgery and theater th- things. Um, or or basically quit medicine and then start <laughs> something else that is also an option so, okay. yeah okay so, so 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 it's basically six years of under uh undergrad okay. two in friendship and then one comes and then serve. you mm. are done 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 yeah sure it's a long process you it's a long road that's like what that's nine years that's, yeah that that's, is nine that's years. nine years Sure, sure, is, sure, sure, sure. I sure. know. Yeah. So, okay. Now, uh, okay. So, as a doctor, do you have to specialize uh, in a specific discipline? Because you spoke about surgery. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. So, um, you, you can just stay as you are. Then that, then you you'll basically be called a GP, so like general practitioner. Oh. That oh. means that you can do almost everything and 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 anything obviously under the and under the hp csa um guidelines of a general practitioner but then there's all these other things like there's so many disciplines um which i don't want to just be a gp i do want to do like a specific thing so yeah specialize in the specific but yeah, but you have options. You have many, many yeah. options. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so can one person? Cause can can people move from being a nurse into being a, a medical doctor? Is that is that a possible stream? It is um, I think then you will probably. So I think in 
benefits you like they there is this whole program that you skip the first and second year and then you start with third year oh. so so that is definitely possible Ooh. i c- cannot speak for um any other varsities okay um i, I think so we, we had a nurse in our class but she started all the way from f- f- first year with us so uh different varsities kind of like have different things mm. but um i definitely know that fits has has one that you only start in third year and then you go on yeah, yeah that's good that's good okay and then mm. doctor what what are the what are the um challenges now you that are, you are facing as a young doctor since now you're doing your your internship right what, my internship what, yes a... what what are the challenges that you're currently facing with Oh, a lot. Especially with this COVID-19 that has, you know, the Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have the front I line. Feel so we were thrown into the deep end. I can't believe it. Um, but I think I think the 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 hospital which I am in handled it well. So yeah. although it is ch- uh challenging. So for instance, um the PPE that we wear every, every, every day so so that includes an apron a face mask a, a face shield um whatever and the um gloves that's that's uh, quite what's the word important it is it is mm. very very important and i f- feel like if um there's a well there's a big uh group of us that are basically now over it and we're like oh we just don't <laughs> want to anymore yeah. but i mean that is a small price that we mm. have to pay in mm. order to keep ourselves Safe. healthy for the long run mm. many of my f- 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 friends and colleagues got covid so yeah, and mm. i saw ocean it really wasn't nice they struggled a lot the pains the coughs the oh. headaches the this the this the that so i feel like it for me to t- take that extra 5 minutes is really it's it's absolutely uh i think as as i'm um, compared to like having to face all 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 of that, that and by like no means am i saying that those people that contracted it were like not putting on mm. their things cuz because every, everyone can like take the correct precautions and still mm-hmm. get it but i'm just saying that i will do everything in my power and mm-hmm. i mean if i still get it then i'm like okay cool it's i mean it it comes and then it it leaves and then i just carry on with life mm-hmm. um but like the challenges that i have faced in the work place are the hours we work long strenuous draining um hours yeah, they are okay. really long and sure uh, your flip it's it can play with one's mind if you are not sleeping well if you're constantly oh. thinking oh i think that was wrong i should have oh maybe you know um so yeah that is quite overwhelming and for me as well one of the other challenges is i don't know um people usually tell us that we should not put our hearts into it you know like as in like don't be too invested yeah. with a patient with a this with a that. i can't do that i i struggle with that so much because mm. everything becomes Personal. a problem that i have to fix mm. so if so if there's something wrong and i cannot fix it with a specific patient with this or this or this i take it upon myself and i bend over backwards for for them and you cannot do that for everyone that you mm. see and treat i know it's not possible you won't survive yeah um and i think that's one thing that i have to teach myself that it doesn't mean that i'm offering any place of a service if i just step back a bit and let things be as mm. they were i cannot fix and change everything yeah. it's definitely yeah. not possible but i will um i will still do my absolute best 
but um, I but I must also take care of myself. And I feel like that's something that I have to learn, or that I'm that I still have to get used to. So, sure. yeah, that that's that's one thing. Oh wow, that's interesting, Mentor. So okay, uh, lastly, tell uh, just give us um um like a, a normal day at work. Your normal day at work, like what do you do and stuff like that? For someone just to have an idea what what you do exactly. Cool. Okay, so I get up at six o'clock and I'm out of the house by half past seven. Uh-huh. Eight o'clock. That's when my official work day begins. Okay. Um, I get to work and then get the the like like handover from the people that were on at night and then I see the patients that come in so currently I'm in the surg- I'm in the surgical department mm-hmm. so we basically see all of the patients that come in with like specific su- 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 surgical conditions that can include um, abdo surgery urology uh breast and endocrine surgery what else is there there's a lot of vascular surgery there's a lot mm. so we basically handle all of that stuff mm. see patients every day if there is time take lunch we we don't take lunch if if, if yo, that's the sad part of it yo, yo, that's um, <laughs> no i know i have lost seven k's i mean Ooh. i'm not complaining i'm like okay cool but i mean it's also not like healthy to not eat lunch yeah. that does yeah. that doesn't make sense yeah. so we basically live off me pers- personally i run on coffee and other like things to just give me um oomph and then so I, like my day ends at eight o'clock at night so eight <gasps> until eight at night what yeah and then you come back home and you sleep and then the whole thing happens again okay, the next day. And, oh. we, and then we have two uh two days off every week but then that could be in bit like in the in the weekday or in the weekend or whenever but they try to at least give us that because our hours are are quite long <laughs> they are okay. very long mm. yeah sure okay doc i think i need to let you go since you have to run to <laughs> the airport uh but any <laughs> last any last words that you'd like to say to anybody uh, who wants to become doctor wants to get into this profession any quick last words it's hard mm. it's hard but it's possible and i feel like um if you put your if you put your your mind to it then you will definitely reach your goal and i am a christian so for me praying was on top of this somewhere so whatever faith and like religion you are hold on to that and and the, like yeah i i will not lie to you it is hard it's hard it's hard it's hard but if you put your your like head in it then you will definitely make it oh. well, thank you so much for joining us man talk um, we appreciate it and uh, i think a lot of people from carlton zulu as well are so so proud of you uh, for making it this far you all just like you know they with you thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So guys, that was hey. the one and the only the double tell. Don't forget to do the most important thing to subscribe to the channel. Man. Subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get this channel up there, man. And uh, also don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms Instagram at Spudanator underscore and uh, on Twitter I'm also underscore Spudanator. And uh, on Facebook, I'm specifically Jonathan Bonambi. So yeah, please follow me on those social media platforms. I'm also now on podcast as well, on Spotify. Please do follow me there as well. I'm the Nata, the Nata. Right. Thank you so much, guys. And see you next time.